I lead a very stressful life, and part of how I make my life less stressful is by utilizing what I call the 15-minute rule. The 15-minute rule is the opposite of what most people use, which is the 15-second rule. The 15-minute rule states that while planning my day, I plan so that if I were paused as a human being for 15 minutes, if everything around kept moving, if people kept walking and working and the clocks kept ticking, but I stopped for 15 minutes, that everything would still go as planned. Most regular people plan by the 15 second rule, meaning that if they were paused for 15 seconds, anything over that, they're screwed. They miss their train and they're not able to pick up their kid from school on time, so the kid waits. They're not able to see their girlfriend or the, the blind date that they have, or they don't show up to work on time and their boss thinks they quit. This is really, really bad. The, reason, the, the main reason that I don't have as much sympathy for people who run by the 15 second rule is because it's not hard to switch to the 15 minute rule. The reason that I lack sympathy for people who live by the 15 second rule is that switching over to the 15 minute rule is free. Hiring staff costs money. Hiring a babysitter costs money. Getting a nicer car costs money. And money costs money. Getting a promotion it costs time, effort, and work. But 15 minutes, you can give yourself for free with no effort. If you sleep for 9 hours versus 9 hours and 15 minutes, you will be just as well rested. And if you're like me and you've slept for 2 hours before, you know damn well that 15 minutes is meaningless. You'll, you'll get to sleep at 5, you have to wake up at 7, 7 o'clock rings, and you hit snooze on the alarm. You close your eyes, and then you open them because the alarm is ringing. And you look at the alarm like, oh, I must have not hit the button. But, oh crap, it's 7.15. 15 minutes passed, literally in the blink of an eye. From the amount of time it took for you to close your eyes and reopen them, that felt like 5 seconds or less. But that's actually 15 minutes. 15 minutes makes no difference. You'll notice if you have employees that are late that it's something different every day. Don't ever have sympathy for, for an excuse. Because if you have sympathy for one, you're going to have sympathy for all of them. For, you'll notice that if somebody's late, because, uh, because of their, you know, their car, they needed to fill up with gas. And man, you know, this car really, really, it just ran out of gas really recently. I thought I got a hybrid and it's only getting 15 miles to the gallon. I'm really sorry, it's not going to happen again. Or, you know, oh, I'm really, my kid got sick. I mean, you can't blame me there. He threw up. I had to clean up after him for school. Come on. Or it'll be, you know, something else like, it, you know, the train was, a, I waited for a half hour for this goddamn train. It just didn't show up. And there was a lot of traffic on the Bell Parkway. How can you blame me for that? It's traffic. Come on. The thing is, is that kids always fucking puke. There is always traffic on the goddamn Bell Parkway. There is no such thing as a working train schedule for public transportation in New York City. It, it, it just isn't. It never works. And uh, your car is going to break down. That's what cars do. That's what computers do. But you plan your life on the 15 second rule, which means if you can't fix this problem in 15 seconds, you're screwed. It's not that you did something wrong with your shitty planning, it's that every, these things went wrong and they're not supposed to. The reality of life is that things don't go as planned. If things always went as planned, I would be making this video on a $4,000 recorder that didn't record in five minute segments. But it didn't, so I own this. This apartment wouldn't be in Brooklyn. It would be in Midtown Manhattan, you know, in a luxury building. But again, l life does not always go as planned. And life does not favor people who follow plans. Life favors people who, and shines upon people, who are successful in spite of plans failing. So, if you plan your life based on 15 seconds, you're always going to be screwed. Because the mere definition of life is random crap that you have to solve. Random problems that are unexpected. So, but if you plan based on the 15 minute rule, you're fine. And, okay, so your kid throws up. You clean it up in five minutes. You still got 10 minutes of your time. And this is also good for your stress. There is nothing sillier to me than being at the Metropolitan Avenue uh, G train station and hearing uh, this little gust of wind that's not even a train and watching half a dozen people trample over an old lady, trip down the stairs because th that train may have been coming 15 seconds early. And that ruins their day. And people will look at me funny because when that, even if a train's actually coming, I continue walking at my regular pace. And I may even be you know, watching some TV on my Android phone or just uh, walking slow and observing because I don't care. I don't live my life on a 15-second rule. I live my life in a 15-minute rule. 
So I can comfortably walk down the stairs without the added stress of having to run and hope I get something in time because my life is not going to be inconvenienced by, by staying calm. And by staying calm, not only do I you know, retain my sanity and uh, potentially have a longer lifespan and have less stress, but I also get everywhere I need to be on time. On time for a date, on time for work, on time for a, a job that I may be getting paid money for if I show up for on time. It's just a better way to, to live my life. And I don't have sympathy for people who come up with a different excuse every day because it's not everything else. The, look for the common denominator. If the same thing keeps, hap keeps happening over and over again, you have to look for the one thing that stays constant every time. And it's somebody who's always late, it's always them.